drawing angles. Now, I would love to tell you that these are dead easy, but if I'm honest, there's quite a few of them and it is easy to get them a bit muddled up. So once you've watched the video, go and grab all the bits that you need and then have a go at drawing them yourself. That's the best way to learn. Okay, let's leave uh, Mr. George here angling away and have a look at the first one then, which is constructing a 60 degree angle. Now these are the kind of angles you get in an equilateral triangle. So um, we've been asked here to draw a 60 degree angle at the point Q, which is on the line here, and we've been asked to use a ruler and a compass. So the first thing we want to do then is we want to take our compass. Once we've done that, we want to stretch it out slightly, and then don't let the size of the compass change for the rest of this, otherwise it's going to end up wrong. So once we've stretched it out like that, the first thing we want to do is want to make a little arc that crosses the line that we've been given, like that. And then we also need to make another arc a bit further round, like that. Now once you've got those two, you can flip the compass over and put its point on where our first arc crossed the line, so down here. And then we want to draw a third arc, which crosses our second one. So you can see now we've got this cross of arcs up here. Now, once we've done that, we can take our ruler and we want to line it up on the point Q where we started and also where our two arcs cross one another and draw a line. And the, the angle that we've created in here, this angle in here, this is in fact 60 degrees. So that's how you draw a 60 degree angle. Clever, eh? Okay, let's have a look at the next one then, which is constructing a 90 degree angle. Uh, when the point is on the line. So you can see here we've got the point R and it's on our line. Okay, so using the ruler and compass again, first we want to do is take our compass, put the pointy end on our point R here, and we want to stretch it out and then put a, an arc that crosses the line on this side. And then without letting the point move, flip the compass over and make another arc on the other side like that. Then we want to put the point of our compass here where this arc crosses the line. And then stretch out the compass again so it's bigger this time. You can see the distance, the size of the compass is bigger than the distance from our arc to the point R. That's really important. And then you can make an arc above R like this, and then flip it over and put the point on the other side, like this, where our, our other arc crosses the line, and draw another arc above R. And you can see now we've got this cross of arcs again. So we can line our ruler up on the initial point R here, and where the two arcs cross one another, draw a line, and the angle that we've created here, this angle here, this is a right angle, and is at 90 degrees. So that's how to construct a 90 degree angle. Okay, the last one then. Uh, this time we need to draw uh, another 90 degree angle from the point T here to the line. This is gonna be a perpendicular line. That means that the line is at right angles to the, the one that's already drawn. So first things first then, we want to take our compass, put the pointy end on the, the point T, and we want to make a little arc that crosses the line on this side, and then flip the compass over and do another arc that crosses the line on the other side. Then you can put the compass on here, so where our arc crosses the line, draw another one, and then flip it over and put it on the other side and draw yet another arc, and now we've got that cross of arcs again. So guess what? We want to line the ruler up, on the initial point we were given here, T, and where the two arcs cross. And we draw that line, and that is our perpendicular line. This line that we've just drawn is perpendicular, so this line here is perpendicular to the original line, and the angle that we've created in here, this is at 90 degrees. So to summarize then, we looked at how to draw a 60 degree angle, a 90 degree angle when the point is actually on the line, and we also did a 90 degree angle when the point is off the line using that perpendicular line. Now the best way to make sure you can do all of these is to go and grab a pencil, some paper, a compass and a ruler, and then watch the video again and have a go at drawing them yourselves. Go on, you know you want to.